Salve Regina, Steam Locomotive, and uh, we are live, everybody, at the Church of the uh, the Holy Steam Locomotive. Welcome back to Train Tuesday. Uh, this is Derail Valley, as usual. We're still trucking through this whole game. Uh, today, I'm here with my co-host, uh, Micah Deposit. Let's go! Yes, and we have a huge episode today. You might notice we're back at the harbor, this maze of track and giant ships and cranes and, and DE2 engines, but we're actually going over to the roundhouse because we have uh, something special. Well, actually, no. First, we need to go to the station house because that's where all the, the business is happening. Yeah, um, let's see, uh, can we buy, no, not the station house, we need to go to the store, because we need to buy a few items that we didn't previously have, but the problem is, is I don't actually know where the store is located, because they don't exactly make it clear. Alright, tab please, let's go to the station map and try to find the shop. But how are you, how are you doing, uh, how are you doing, Micah? I'm doing pretty good, you know, just trying to stay uh, relatively cool because it's just, uh, the East Coast finally decided, oh wait, it's June, we better be like 90,000 degrees out. Yeah, that does seem so, to be, that does seem to be how she goes. It's like, thanks Massachusetts for being a, uh, being a manic depressive weather episode. <laughs> I'll keep right. around. Yeah. Well, on this hot day, we actually need to buy a few items. We need to buy uh, this. We need to buy this. We need to buy this. And some of this. $450 for all this stuff? Give me the money. Frickin' rip-off artists. Ah. Well, you might be wondering... What do you need a lighter for? What do you need a shovel for? And what do you need this uh, handbook for? Well, I'll show you. We are going to go over to the shed and we are going to locate our new prospect. Because uh, I think we've abused poor number 60 and other DE2s enough. We want to move on to bigger things. We have great plans. You know, to make some money. We don't have a lot of money because we keep crashing. But if we come over here, um, we have a beautiful selection of Midwestern diesels. Santa Fe, Southern Pacific, and a Rio Grande. Um, but this, this is our target for today. We finally did it. We finally got the steam engine license. We did it, Reddit. <sighs> oh, yes. And today... We are going to do some easy stuff. We are going to first see if we can get this engine on the turntable without running it off the other end. And then we're going to just do a little trial run and see if we can actually drive this thing without um, blowing it up or crashing it. So yeah, um, this is a, this uh, paint scheme is based off the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Um, the Baltimore and Ohio numbered their, uh, their 282 types, and they call it a 282 because you have two wheels here, got eight drivers connected to the cylinders with all the side rods, and two wheels in the back. And um, this is painted in the royal blue paint scheme, but they called these engines, uh, they classified them with the letter I, and this is the first of its type, so it's an I1. The S there on the plate um, states uh, that it's superheated, and A represents the fact that it is the first uh, editation or, or variation of the I-1. So this locomotive is called an I-1SA. And those letter number combinations vary throughout the different railroads, but yeah. So what do you think, Mike? Are you ready to, ready to hop up there? I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, yes. Here we are. This is the steam engine. It's a little cramped up here. Uh, we got our tender behind us, kind of very tightly up against the engine, which is how it should be. Um, so yeah, let me give you a rundown 
on the control. So I have driven a steam locomotive in real life before, and um, uh, but I never fired one. And in Derail Valley, you have to do both jobs at once, which is kind of a nightmare uh, because you know you can't see around corners because the boiler is like too long. The windows could be a touch higher. You can't open them, it seems. But what you can do, I think, I don't know, that's the teleport. You can lean out the side, so that's pretty cool. You can lean out like that. All right, so this is effectively your gear shift. This is what they call the reverser. You roll it forward, and now we are in full power mode. All the way forward means maximum power. But the closer you roll it to the center, uh, which is neutral, um, is more speed because you're allowing less steam to go at a faster rate into the cylinders. And so basically the way this works, um, uh, just for those who don't know, so you throw the coal into this area. This is the firebox, which heats up, and there's a plate of metal that goes right across here called the crown sheet, which gets really hot and boils the water in this part of the boiler right here. All that steam goes up into this dome, and when you pull on the throttle, a little valve opens up, and it brings the steam all the way down here to the cylinders. And inside here are pistons, which get shoved backwards, which move this rod, and that turns the wheels around. And then there's some other rods, like this is an eccentric, which helps balance the locomotive to reduce pounding on the rails as the rods are going around. And, um, yeah, so basically fundamentals of running a steam locomotive, uh, make sure the water glass is always full. Like that's probably good. Make sure this, uh, this is the steam pressure gauge, I believe, um, going up to 180 pressure per square inch. This is the temperature gauge. You don't want that to get too hot. Uh, this dumps the fire. Uh, here are your brakes, same as on the diesel. And this is the throttle. You push it forward to accelerate and pull it back to uh, ease the power off. Uh, this engine has a lot more weight behind it, so it might take a little more um, power to stop. Uh, here's your firebox. You open it up like so, and you throw the coal in. In fact, we will do that right now. Might as well get a head start. Appears to be full, so wow, well, we'll leave that open. Um, yeah, so this is the water dump valve. I assume that just dumps water, but I'm, I don't want to touch that. This is the steam dump. In case you're overpressured, it might pop the safety valve and open the cylinder cocks at the same time. This valve is not labeled, but it turns, so I'm worried. This is the fire out, you turn that, and the fire gets, uh, it either water pours down onto the coals or it opens the fire grates and the water will dump out. This is the sand, no. This is the sander, because it has a little sand gauge here. What this is, I'm not exactly certain. So here we go, now we're going to read the manual, because that's what you do. Prerequisites. You will need these items in order to operate the steam engine. We have bought that already. One, make sure the regulator is released, which it is. Open the fire door. Shovel coal into the firebox, way ahead of you. Light a fire using the lighter. God, there's so much stuff. We don't need this stupid receipt. Get out of here. How do we, how do we even? There we go. And chuck that in there. Nice. There's no way we're gonna be able to retrieve that. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, then we close the fire door so we don't fall in when we crash because that has happened in real life and it's awful. Add water to the boiler using the injector. That's this big key looking thing here, which we have done already. Close injector when water meter is full. Observe steam being generated. Look at that. 
It's going up. Oh my god. Let's go. That's so cool. Oh, this is great. Roll the cutoff forward as far as it goes. I believe that is what that is. Step 10, release the brakes. We are not there yet. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. She's on. We have. She's huffing and she's puffing. Yeah, we have we have successfully turned on a steam engine. That is, wow. Oh my god, this is so exciting. What number is this? Thirty-five. We're gonna call her Big Blue because it's a royal blue. All right, let's. Uh, it's the Big Blueberry. Okay, this is all just train stuff. Higher temperature means faster steam generation. Only if you're losing steam, add more coal to the fire. And there hey, is Sam. Sam has made it. Ooh. Sam, check it out. Yeah, oh, let me, uh, are, am I streaming in the Discord? Yes, I am. You are. Look, at, look at that. We got her. We got her on the... Uh, you just be spoken like that while wait in place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, so the blower significantly boosts fire burn using steam pressure. Useful one stationary. All right, let's give her a. Let's give her a. Okay, one of the engines has backwards brakes, and I don't remember <laughs> which it is. Like where the pressure needs to be on for it to. Okay. Let's gotcha. ease her forward. Oh my god, that sound. You're good. Why are the brakes on? <laughs> You're good. I literally can't tell what position to put this in. And they gave you a license for the shake in my head. I paid for that license fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's the brake? Come on. Release the brakes. Okay, so they both need to be in this position. So we just started the engine with the brakes on. Great. Come on. Wow, this thing takes a bit to get going. Come on, I know you want to stop. <laughs> Are we on the turntable? Okay, so first like successful... It. First successful movement. <laughs> I'll chalk it up <laughs> as a victory. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh god, that is a really beautiful engine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The Sexy. Baltimore Yeah, the Baltimore and Ohio made some real nice looking engines, but Alright, let's uh let's give her a test run. Where should we go? Let's um I wanted to go to the, um, let's go to the Forest Central. Let's just run it light all the way there. Why don't we, and just practice with this, with this bad boy. Oh yeah. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, got a gallop to her. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh yeah. Now this is pod racing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All that exterior motion, that's what we like. Throttle is off and we're maintaining exact momentum. <laughs> 
This is actually how it was when I drove it, though. Like, you could just turn the throttle off and she'll just go. Because you have all of that uh, linkage out there just moving mm. the wheels around. So it's like, especially since the engine is light, it's momentum and all that just heavy iron just moving around just keeps her, keeps her going. Let's give her some gas. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for since I started this game. Alright, we appear to be going uphill. Let's give, it give it a little more... Give it more juice! Sorry, fly. How's our cold? Wow. We are low on water. Holy crap. Speaking of which, I'm low on water. I'm gonna go get some. I'll be right back. Nice. It is slightly difficult to see, but that's just kind of par for the course with these beasts. I mean, we got like a huge chunk of metal, like... So it's like, it's like, what did you expect? Yeah. Not everything can be translucent. <laughs> right. Well, I almost just blew it up by, uh... Letting the fire go. Or, uh... Shoot, where's my, uh, where's my thing? Already taking risks. Oh, Dorsey, never change. You're accelerating now. Yeah, those windows are not great. I wish they were like a couple inches higher. There's supposed to be chairs here, but there's not really like a... Like if I crouch, then I'm here, you know, so it's... Right. Like... There's no in-between. Oh, not that far forward. Come on, don't give it uh, too much. Let's open the water key just a touch. I return. Hello. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, it almost was a goodbye. Holy crap. Bruh. Yeah. The timing. Oh, yes. Oh. That sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh. Our boiler. Our, we have way too much steam pressure. Let's ease it up a little bit then. There we go. There we go. I thought it was righty tidy, lefty loosey. No, it's righty oopsie, lefty whoopee. Uh -huh. Uh 
God, I'm enjoying- I am enjoying the hell out of myself right now. <laughs> I left the water key slightly open, so we have, uh... A constant stream of water to the- from the tender to the engine. That makes sense. I feel like... Oh, that's the bell. I know what it's that means. Overheating. No. Oh, we're, 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 we're low on coal. We're low on J. Cole. Uh huh. I don't want to get risky with my speed yet, because I'm still kind of figuring out how this feels. Makes sense. Although Those it would pressure. make for a very it would make for a very interesting episode. It's like, <laughs> yes, finally I got the Steam license. Immediately crashes it on the test. <laughs> I don't think that was red before. God, there is so much to keep track of with this thing. I have to look out, like, both sides of the cab. I need to make sure that the fucking steam pressure isn't gonna... Because this needle peeps, like, creeping past it. Mm. She's a, she's a slippery one, that's for sure. That she be. This is why you need two people mm. on these things, like... I know, when's multiplayer coming? Yeah, uh, all future games, we need multiplayer if only for this. Right. Breaks Some things never change. <laughs> Got a couple viewers today. Welcome. Hi, viewers. Alright, where are we going? Are we going the right way? Yes. Are we at the right speed? Yes. Welcome to the stream, Deadly Gamer 21. Hello. Welcome back. You get to watch me uh, drive a steam locomotive badly. <laughs> That's right. Played on Sunday. Nice. Which engine? Looking pretty good so far. Well, thank you. I'm trying to drive it to Forest Central just to see if I don't, like, crash before we get there. 
the old GWR 5643er. I don't think I know that one. Is that... Um... That's not one of the prairie tanks, is it? Or is it one of the, uh, one of the saddle tanks? I was like, a, I recognize that model. But it's like, if I say, say the reference, uh, Dorsey might get mad at me because oh, it's is it the, the tank engine Oh, related. is it the one that looks like Duck? Yeah, okay, that's cool. I actually like those engines a lot. Duck was my favorite character from that season, series. <laughs> gotcha, okay. It kind of reminds me more of, uh, Oliver. Oh, is that what it is? Kind of, but it has, like, a three-driver instead of, like, a two-driver. Oh, and then he's gonna be on the 80097 Standard 4. Oh, that's actually really cool. I, I never uh, For reference, I know nothing about trains. I, I know that they have, uh, wheels. Yeah, not like Duck. <laughs> oh, so I'm, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, this I'm sorry. Tom's tank engine is my only reference to like the British railway engines. <laughs> it's most people's only reference, unfortunately. <laughs> I will. Wow, we're actually we're actually doing pretty good right now. We don't really need to mess with anything. How's our fire? Oh, okay, right, yeah, the pannier tanks. So is, um, is 5643, like, what's its wheel arrangement? That'll probably give me a good idea of what you're talking about. Is He said that it has six drivers. Is it an 060, or is it, um, 062, or...? <laughs> yes, they have wheels. How very observant. Yes, I knew it. I'm learning. Never use the steam dump. We always want more steam. <laughs> Ooh. It's an 082 apparently. I didn't realize you could change the pitch of the horn. Oh yeah, with steam whistles, depending on how much steam is going through it, it changes the pitch. That's awesome. That, that kind of makes sense, because it's like, with like more pressure, it's like a higher yeah. frequency. Well, it's like a it's like a pipe organ. How pipe but how pipe organs right. use air, steam whistles use steam. Right. But same idea. Yeah, yeah. And O A two. That's actually pretty pretty rad. I guess I thought for pipe organs, I thought the the pitch was was dependent on like the size and like length and like um, interior volume of the pipe itself. Like, doesn't each key have its own pipe? Oh, how did I end up in? Fuck, how do I get out of here? What? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no! God damn it. No! Let me no. in! Okay. We need back in the cab! <laughs> wow, oh, I just... No, six two. Oh, I just kicked in the window of this engine. Oh, no, there's a bot in the fucking chat! Ban him! Be gone! Him. What?! <laughs> Oh, no, not house, the water do... dump, not the water dump. Oh my god, oh my god, put the water back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just dropping water. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Let's, let's give it some gas. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh my god. Trucking along. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Lady's got a slightly unrealistic trees inside the cab, yeah. <laughs> Damn, this lady's got a gallop to her. Holy moly. Look at that. I know, you're speeding. Like if you fall out, you might not be able to teleport back in. Yeah, right. You will, ex you will explode without hot water. Isn't that isn't that just like general rule of thumb with like any like humans, though. Maybe minus the explosion part. 
<laughs> Speaking of which, at 10 consecutive viewers, I will literally drink water on stream. And if we don't get enough, then I will literally explode on stream. Make sure you have your camera on so we can at least <laughs> have something for... <laughs> something yeah, right, for that's live time leak. to kill oh, you. Wait. Imagine you're, like, hanging oh, out the window. Just get oh, wait, no way, live leak was taken down. <laughs> yeah, that sign would have killed me. I know, but we're having fun. <laughs> that was a bell rang. Um, I honestly, I think we don't need to shovel the coal right now. I think we're good. But hot Great damn, that was there. that was the fastest acceleration I've ever experienced in this game. That was amazing. I got like a fucking dopamine rush from that. <laughs> the Virgin Diesel engine versus the Chad Steam engine. Alright, now what are we doing? Okay, we need to come in on the main line. Okay, so now we have lower steam pressure because we just went really fast. So let's put the coal, the shovel with the coal on it in our pocket. And then put... Oh, I don't need any more coal. I was wondering about that. Like, the bell goes off and it's like... I don't, oh, now we need coal. Oh, which is it? Man, I'm just getting <laughs> whipped in the face by branches and brambles and... <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we got a switch coming up. Let's slow down. No, I said slow down. Come on, Big Blue. <laughs> no, slow down. Obey me. I'm your master. Bonk, now I'm dead again. No, I'm gonna leave him open. Look, I'm gonna crawl inside. <laughs> oh. I was feeling like a little bit of a draft there, so... Uh... That's right, it's a little nippy out today. We could use, uh, use some open air fire. Actually, it's like a heat wave right now where I am anyway. <laughs> hey. Like, it's gonna be a high of, uh... High of, uh, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Because we are Yanks, we do not use the metrics. <laughs> Toasty. Don't need to dump it that much. Yeah, it's gonna reach, uh, it's gonna be reaching about 307 out where I am. Uh, Kelvin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Deadly Gamer, what would you... So, am I using the steam dump correctly? Because, like, this needle keeps going way past 180. And, um... I know that in real life that would be, uh, be a boom. So, like, I'm just wondering if, like... There's something else I should be doing. Since you are, you are definitely more of an expert than me about this. We don't have a steam dump, apparently. What do you mean you don't have a steam dump? <laughs> That's interesting. Just dump the steam outside. Just, you know, just open up all the windows. The steam goes out. Easy. Why did I, I think that. of that? <laughs> Ugh, idiot. 
<laughs> so how do you how do you regulate the pressure if it's getting too hot or too high? Why why are we stopping? Go 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 go! Oh, the brakes are on. Oh, he's got a like a safety valve that like automatically regulates the pressure. It just I releases see. if it gets too much. Yeah, I guess this engine doesn't have that. So not only are we having to fire and maintain this engine ourselves, we also have to be the safety valve, apparently. <laughs> They're gonna improve the steam engine stuff in the next update. Yeah, I'm just assuming, like, for this game, which might not be realistic, maximum pressure is probably what the game wants you to do. <laughs> now we need coal because you're going up a hill. Where's my shovel? They also gotta fix the, uh... problem with, them. Um... No, not that. Come on, shovel. Shovel. Jesus Christ. Is the shovel. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Free bird! Oh, uh, ten, 10 Hyde says that the gauge isn't 180 psi, it's 18 bars, which is about 261 psi. Ah, aha. Why are you rolling backwards? Don't do that. Stop. Stop, I command you. Wait, where the fuck did I no. drop the shovel? No, you know what? We'll just keep going and we'll just buy one at the next station. <laughs> Go. Yes, it stops when you tell it. Yeah, one bar is one atmosphere. I guess, is is uh, is that assuming, like, standard temperature and... I guess, yeah, one atmosphere is standard pressure. Okay, right, right. Cool. game is different to real life. I don't know, you put on the VR helmet, uh, what's the difference anymore? It seems, uh, same to me. I can't believe I threw the fucking shovel out the window, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is it, if we lose, we're losing pressure rapidly. Make sure this gauge is closed. Go! I'm just gonna throttle up. A fireman threw the shovel in the fire when I was on once. Oh god. Really? Just, <laughs> apparently the boy, deadly game. Boy, I hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Huh. Funny. Does that like does that like screw up like the, the fire? Like does it like mess up the firebox when you like just like throw metal in there? It depends on I mean if it's hot enough in there, but uh, it just melts. I don't, I don't know if it really contributes to the to the fuel source, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it necessarily. Um, Everybody says no. Screwing anything up? Yeah. Yeah, it just makes a crispy shovel exactly. <laughs> oh, now we need to make sure there's a shop at the Forest Central, otherwise we just pull the pull the dingus and like completely screwed up. <laughs> There isn't. Mm. 
It melts it. Wow. Right. Well, that just happened to me, so... Well, I mean, that's basically, I mean, that's that's how they that's how they make metal and weapons in the first place, oh, right? I mean, you, he you heat it up in the forge, and then you can... Oh, it's like, it. Yay! Crisis yeah, I averted! I pulled it out of the fire. But it's like, <laughs> off, it's like off my inventory. Oh, apparently it would show up in the lost and found shed as well if you lost it, lost it. That is true. Right. Ten hides. I'm saying oh, and, right. And welcome, <laughs> welcome, ten hides. Nope, nope, don't stop, don't stop. Fuck. Yeah, we just messed up. Okay, throttle off. Brakes on. Go faster. <laughs> this is do it. This is the first yes, time. No, do no, don't, don't you do stop. it. No, stop. Do so it. Stop. Bad blue. Why are bad the, big blue? Why are the brakes only on the drive wheels? Why are these <laughs> wheels spinning? And the locomotive brake should also be for the tender too. At least it was on the engine I drove. So let's put the train brake on too. There we go. Also, I wanted to see what's up there because that's I don't know what that is. Mm, it's nothing. It's like an observatory or something. This yeah, game right? has uh, this game has uh, some secrets to it. Yeah. Yeah. God, I just really love, um, I mean, American steam engines don't have buffers or chain couplers, but, um, I really like the look of, like, the B&O steam engines. Just real majestic looking. Hmm. And this, and this model, this, uh, Derail Valley model actually looks pretty close besides, like, like, it's, it's weird. It's like an American steam engine body with, like, European couplers and buffers. It's kind of like halfway in the middle. Cause like everything else about it is like pretty like, I don't know, like it could, um, it could also be like, like Russian, which kind of has like, uh, what's it called? I don't know. I have like a, like an in house, like kind of a uh, head cannon where, um, the, uh, the derail valley universe is set in on a um a heritage railroad that um suddenly was like oh you have to uh um uh what's it called you have to like carry cargo now and nobody knows what they're doing wow she's working Yeah, Deadly Gamer, thank you for uh, tuning in. It's always good to have you. You always provide some really good uh, insight. And have fun at band practice. Yes. I'm just holding down the plus key when I do that. It's going to be until uh, 4 p.m. So basically, like another hour, because I don't know, like the British summer time. Well, yeah, that was a crisis averted. We need to get some rid of some crap. Actually, we don't need this so anymore. Yeet! needs instruction manuals? Throw them Who in the fire. Who needs the manual? <laughs> Nobody reads the manual. What? 
What does this do? It's not labeled. That sketches me out when there's just like a valve connected to the fireman's side of the engine. Yeah, I know it's fireproof. And I know it's gonna be in the lost and found, just like all the jobs I abandoned. God, this is a tight corner. Wow, that wheel is off the track. <laughs> What's the turn radius for this engine? Oh, 27. That's a very in joke. It's so in, I'm already out of it. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm hearing the derail sound. Maybe you are. Yeah, maybe I am. The tender was just violently shaking, so I wanted to stop and... <laughs> I can hear in the comments, Chris, you suck at this game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it fun to watch. You get to, like, angrily type in the comments, like, No, that's not how you do it! I'm hearing yeah, like clicking you... sounds, and I don't know what those are. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Uh, Ten Heights is asking if they fixed that instant derail bug in the northwest corner yard. Oh, like, you mean in the, the truck? Is... You mean oh, yeah. in the uh, iron ore mine? Because I think they did, but I'm not sure. It's why I've kind of been avoiding going there because I do I do know about that bug. We got four. Let's just go straight. I've never been here before, so let's see where. Oh, look at this place. This is nice. And there's oh. logs. Little cutesy. make it no I don't think she will wow look at it go Ma man's best invention for real bonk Yay. Wait, is this an in or is it an out? Yes. That's a good question. And I want to practice my driving in reverse, so we're gonna be doing that. Just to give it a little spice, a little challenge. A little, uh... A little, a little hey, a little ho, a little ho, a little, a little, a little, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so which one is the super long train? It's not that one, but we can actually bring both. And this engine can actually do it. 684 tons and 171 tons. So this steam engine has a power rating of 1,000 tons, which I know that's not, I don't know what that is in kilonewtons or whatever, but in game, it can move 1,000 tons of cargo. So we're gonna push this, connect it up back there, if we can. Can we? No, we can't, Oopie. So we're going to pull this back the way we came and then hook it up to the front and then run her backwards 
down. Yeah, it's fine. Look at that. We could. S actually, when I when I drove the uh, the engine that I did, it actually was easier to drive backwards than it was forwards. So we're gonna roll you all the way back. I'm gonna come up here, do our little up, oh, and uncouple it for some reason. And yeah. Uh, oh, and she's rolling. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh, stinky. <laughs> okay, is that that's everything. We don't need to worry about multiple unit cables or any of that nonsense. Okay, do we still have a fire? Survey says still have boiler pressure. No, we don't. So let's get her. Fuck, I don't want to. I don't know where to put these because I don't want to like lose the license because I bought the steam engine license before and then I threw it on the ground and then I didn't have it anymore so I've just been traumatized ever since and then. then I threw it on the ground this game really does not want you to have the steam engine <laughs> all right I think we're good close it we're in reverse right I can't tell yes we are all right and <laughs> Oh, are the brakes off? Yes. Maybe. The question of this episode is can Chris drive backwards? <laughs> the answer? No. Yeah, the answer is we'll see. Tune in to find out <laughs> on the next episode of Train Tuesday! Actually, I know how to solve the visibility problem. Just do close this. Your eyes. Yeah. I can see too much. Let me close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be like a turntable or something somewhere. I can turn her around. You know, one of the, uh, in America at least, one of the last types of steam engines to go were the switchers. Because diesel switchers just, like, couldn't hang for, like, a really long time. Because they tried to replace steam engines one-to-one -one with diesels, and that just did not work. As you can see from our our little performance earlier as to why. <laughs> right, we're just gonna drag this mama over the switch. There's gotta be a turntable here. If there's not, I'm gonna be a sad panda. see diddly squat out there. Rail Valley rule number 156. Do not get off the train until it has stopped moving. Sorry. Go. Alright, fireman's side is dead. got conflicting audio files there. Who ordered the three-cylinder steam engine? Hey.
I'm really worried that when the new update comes, if this needle goes past 18, then it's just gonna explode. And because, like, you're so worried about all this other stuff, like... It's gonna be, like, impossible to... Alright, go ahead. Shoot! Oh. Switch. Please don't derail. I know it's the name of the game. Oh, no, 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 no! Ooh. I think we're good, actually. But, wait, no, not. Oh, what was that? I got a little thing. Oh, yay, Deadly Gamer is hosting the stream. God, there is something just so majestic about this. Like, ah. Uh, really doesn't get much better than that. Like, this is how they used to do it, and in fact, 282s were not uncommon on logging railroads. I don't care if I smash the cars, they deserve it. Yeah, thank you, Deadly Gamer. Much appreciated. Oh, bump. Ouch. Oh, wow, I felt that one. This is so sad. Okay, wait, one, two, three, and then you. Now the hard part. Maybe if we have time, what I can do is I can back down to the Y and then turn the engine around manually so we don't have to go and reverse the whole trip. The railroad at Old Thresher's Reunion in Mount Pleasant, Iowa has a worm gear drive steam engine. Those are the, uh, the Heislers, right? Or, or are those the Climax engines? Baby. Cause, which runs along the length of the train. Yeah, those those geared engines are pretty crazy looking. All right, we're going. Oh, she's working now. Effortless. 800 tons, effortless. Where are we trying to go? Oh, I think you know. I actually don't. We're going to Ligma. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll back down here, park the train, and then I'll run her around down this way and then back in, and that's how we'll turn it around, and then we'll run forward for the rest of the journey. Give me the shovel. I need it. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Oh god, oh jeez, oh. We just lost, like, all steam pressure. It's okay, we'll gain it back. Apparently it's not a problem. Because I don't, I, I know, I know, like, how steam engines work, but I don't know how they work if you catch my drift. God, wow. I know the how they just... work, I just don't know what they're working on. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> hey, I don't know why uh, they work, I just don't know who they work. Oh, it's a Shea. Yeah, the Shays are really cool. I don't know how it works, I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. <laughs> 
I don't think anyone knows what that sound sounds like because everyone in like a two mile radius goes deaf immediately. <laughs> Uh, excuse my dog making hacking noises if that's on the stream, I apologize. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> God, I'm pushing the throttle and the engine's just getting louder. <laughs> like it's not doing anything. <laughs> like music while we're like uh, doing the stream and the chugging was like syncing up perfectly in rhythm <laughs> with a uh, frenzy by killing joke oh i love that <laughs> nice it's about it's like, 160 it's... bpm right now because that's the tempo 25 or 6 to 4 is by chicago like don't say it don't say it don't say it you'll get copy claimed no, they can't, they can't <laughs> copyright me for that. No, now it's slowing down. What the fuck? What the dose? What's going on? Do I need to turn the water key off? What's going on? Oh, wow, it just yeah. needs to beat it. Please, no. No, no, God, please, no. Trying his best. Alright, that's all she wrote. We gotta wait for boiler pressure to go back up. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the brakes off in case it wants to, like, take off on its own. How many cars are we pulling, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, oh God, oh, two. no, oh, jeez. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Are all these weird valves... I, I don't know what this valve does, and I threw the, the uh, instructions in the full fire, so... <laughs> we just won't touch it. <laughs> Just tossing shit out. Like, look, it's like unlabeled. It's like scratched out. You yeah, don't right? need that. <laughs> Turns out it's fine. That's the safety valve control, and I just don't. Yeah, know. right. <laughs> All right, now we should be good enough to get started. Turn the brakes off. Now, boom, hit it. Oopsie doopsie. Why are there three settings on this sand? Just, just oh, it's like no sand, sand, and more sand. There's red sand, there's gravel, there's sandstone. I mean, uh, all kinds of things it can be. Uh, Ten Heights says it's a time travel regulator. Oh, I see. Wait, is the train off the track? Or, is, or am I just tripping right now? I, I, some of the wheels look like they're on, some look like they're off. 
Might be just okay, like a graphical it's, error. Yeah, it's at the height of the rail. So, yeah. Gotta be good. Yeah. It's fine. This is why they We're use... Fine. This is why you use two six twos on logging trains and not two eight twos. Come on, big blue. Oh, it's working so hard. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> These must be California redwoods, because... They sent this one Baltimore and Ohio train all the way out to California to pick up some California redwoods. There we go. It's not fast, but it'll do. Darn it, it works. <laughs> I think we can even bump the throttle up a little bit. God, I love that sound so much. Like, really crunches in there. How's our water supply? Wow, we've used a fuck ton of water. <laughs> Holy you better find a water tower. <laughs> no, don't you He's go down. He's a thirsty boy. He needs his water. Yeah, you know, I really should have taken your bite. Vice 10 hides, cause uh... Oh no, I got it, there we go. And who needs 10 hides? What is they, what do they know about trains? What do Probably... they know about derail valves? Probably more than me. I'm, I'm just gonna go out on a limb. <laughs> Solid six atmospheres. That's just crazy that it's like six Earth atmospheres of pressure. <laughs> I could barely handle one Earth atmospheres of pressure. Got him. Wait, where are we right now? What is this switch? We're oh, look nowhere. at this. Look at this. It's a little house, and here's all our shit. Is this our house? Look, we got a little bed! What? Oh my hey, god, I think it uh, is our house. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Are we supposed to be driving a train? It's fine, it's right over there. Not anymore. I didn't even realize you had a house. Oh, thanks oh. for, uh, thanks for researching that, though. Okay, so the tiny switch is for the headlight. But there's, like, no other, like, Engineers around. Yeah. Wait, so that's cool though. You don't have to carry all that shit on you. You can just like discard it, and it, it'll go to your house, I guess. Yeah. Maybe if you park an engine out front, it like saves it. Hmm. That'd be cool. All right. Since we're going slow, I'm just gonna scout out ahead. Hey, if you're doing this while you even drive the train, just just run the material yourself down the line. Right. <laughs> oh, now she's slowing down. It really does not like whatever we're doing right now, and I don't know why. Come on, don't give me that. Give it, oh, give it to him. Oh, we're completely out of sand again. 
So this is the headlight, apparently. But that should be up here with three notches, one for the forward headlight, one for off, and then one for the tender light in the back, and we stopped again. God damn it. Brakes on. Okay, so it just doesn't like this hill. That's really the, the answer. Let's check out this house while we're regaining lost steam pressure with no one attending the volatile steam engine. So we can just bring our little train in here. Oh, we got a little trash can. Just gonna take a little piss. All right. Can't really shut these doors, but... Wow, this is so nice. I wish I could live in a house like this. Little porch. It, it is full laughed, yeah. Full reverse for maximum power, because this is a heavy, heavy man. Alright, we're just gonna keep shoveling our, our coal until we get maximum steam pressure, because that seems to have the best result here. And apparently if you crouch, you can just hop through that window, because that makes sense. You can walk along this thing to the front. Whoever does these, like, retextures really knows what they're doing. Like, I really like that. Oh, and there's a bell, too. How do I ring the bell? Where's the bell cord? There isn't one. What's this? What? No, this has to be the headlight. Because forward, off, tender light. Which doesn't do anything. But this is... Press that and now it would do that, I suppose. So according to Ten Hides, the bell is the button next to the lever. And also doesn't work. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, but the bell is so cool. I want dingalings, and I want them now. And we have enough boiler pressure to actually get this the pony horse in. Wow. It's like not wanting to get going. This wheel's turning before this one. That's not how that works. <laughs> it is now. Whoa! What did I just miss? What just happened? I left to get water and all this. We're out of sand. Um. Shit. Why does this always happen to me? Okay, going down to the farm. Hang tight. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> this is where you edit in the uh, we'll be right back jingle. Like, Chris in the future, remember to do that in editing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, just, like, cut to... Speaking of which, have you seen the new Eric Andre movie, Bad Trip? Oh, oh yeah, yes. that shit was great. So funny, so funny. No, I, I no... thought when I first saw it, I thought it was like an older movie. I don't understand how he got away with like not being recognized. Yeah, it's like good. Well, like a part of it is like going into like kind of more rural areas, like traveling up from this. I guess like traveling like through like the south, kind of like else where you're not recognized by like the typical college kid who's like into Adult Swim. True. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Chris. You were oh, something. no, it's fine. Uh, I just couldn't find a DE2 at the, um, at the station. And Big Blue does not want to, does not want to go. And we're out of oh, sound. Apparently there's a mod that takes that extra unlabeled valve and makes it a, a, a mechanical stoker. Oh, that's cool, actually. And the bell is the button next to the lever, and also doesn't work. 
Already, like, I already mentioned that, uh, but you do you. There we go. Come on. Come on, Big Blue. You can Come do on. it. Do it! Think, Blue! Uh -huh. Why don't you just get a plane? It'd be so much easier. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's bring a thousand tons of California redwoods on a plane. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? You don't need to put them in the plane, just just tie them into the bottom and let them dangle like wind chimes. I push it too far, it starts screeching at me, so... <laughs> All right, we got a chuff. She's still breathing. Oh, put the coal in my pocket for later, and then. Oh, what did the book say about starting on on a hill? I don't. It said. Nope, that's a shunner. Get out of here. I don't want you. Higher speed, pull back, cut off the coast, release regularly to stop. Higher temperatures means faster steam generation. Only if you're losing steam, add more coal to the fire. Uh, the draft sig- Ah! Aha ha! Oh no, that's for when you're on the go. <laughs> but what about if I'm trying to start and the load's too heavy and we're on a hill and everything's sad? Maybe, maybe, um... But release the brakes and let it let it slide downhill a little bit until it's level again, and then get some some power down there. You know that's actually not a bad idea. Oh wait, that's putting the brake on. Let's. I'm also worried we're gonna run out of water. Oh, the water glass is empty. No wonder we don't have any steam. In real life, is it more common to like double tracks? So you can have like two way traffic or to like do one track with like the little like loop de loop waiting points? Uh, it depends on the situation, like how narrow the area is, what your budget is. Mm -hmm. um, oh, in 1933, the, the Bezler boys successfully flew a steam-powered airplane. That's pretty funny. It's not proved to be a practical design. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't say. <laughs> I guess a hot air balloon is kind of like a steam powered plane. Oh, in a way. The steam powered aircraft more so than like a plane because like a plane you have to have like a motor and like wings <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're getting to semantics look i don't know anything about trains or planes all i know is to play dumb caveman riffs on my guitar <laughs> no no no, that, no that's like the ernie ernies i'm talking about like dumb caveman riffs drop d <laughs> you know just like <laughs> Stuff that you play at like a uh, 200 decibels, and oh, you yeah. get everyone in like the crowd covering their ears, and you get the <laughs> sound man pissed off, and the singer hates you. Mm -hmm. Just two other... notes. I will. I will deafen these. This entire crowd. <laughs> All you need is two notes and a fuzz pedal and like a good loud amp. <laughs> you don't need much else. All like, I need is an interval of one and a half. Oh, I think we got yeah, her. Yeah, sex is good and all, but have you ever tried plugging into a Marshall full stack? <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. No, oh, it's it's chugging. Stop chugging, 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 chugging. Oh yeah, there's the chugger. Yes. I literally can't tell if there's water in the water glass or not, but... If I don't look at it, it's not my problem. Out of sight, out of mind. under 20 miles per hour on a flat surface. Big blue. I think it's safe to say we are now at speed. Oh, you think so now, do you? We are accelerating rapidly. Oh, okay. Let's check it. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Ten Hides is heading out. Thanks for watching, man. Uh, glad to have you on. Yeah, yeah, this was great. Absolute pleasure. Come back next week when I literally drink water on stream. <laughs> now we're going too fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Oh, tonight's gave you a follow. Yay, thank you. Yay! Getting ever Let's closer go. to affiliate. You're you're very close now. You're like what, five away or something? I think it's six away now. Crazy. Okay, now I don't even remember what where this is going. Oh, to the sawmill. Damn, we are hog hauling right now. <laughs> there, there is a, a kind of a rule that tender engines can't go backwards, and that's because like the locomotive is way heavier than the tender, so it has a tendency to push it off the track. Sure. And then the tender pulls the engine off the track. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, but that's for reality. We're in Derail Valley. That's right. We'll be fine. If I derail this train, I will never financially recover, and that's just <laughs> real. <laughs> and that's I not will not the financially like... recover from this. I don't know how Joe Exotic sounds. I never watched Tiger King. Well, see, that's the thing. It's like 
I mean it both in the meme ironic sense and also like in game. Pretty sure, yeah, we can go six here. Usually they'd have two of these gauges, one here and one here, but apparently steam engines only need one person to operate, so... Okay, actually, you know what we're, we're approaching is the area that I mentioned where we're gonna turn the engine around, so we don't have to do this backwards. Guys, we're approaching Bofa. There is something accelerating, exhilarating about um, driving this thing, though. I, it must be said. Then, yes. Ah, what? Oh, that's the weird headlight thing that doesn't work. <laughs> I think we'll get this to the sawmill and that'll be the that'll be the stream. <laughs> We're just getting warmed up already. I'm joking. Or am I? Everything is operated with a mouse scroll wheel in this game. <laughs> and they need to make like an inventory menu, because there's literally not enough places on the number pad to put all this stuff. Wow, that is a long train. That's like 11 cars. actually going forwards the way this thing was intended to be <laughs> driven. They're, they're eventually going to add a small steam engine, um, and I think that is going to be easier to drive backwards, because I think they're going to make it like a, sh a switcher, I hope. So then we're just gonna kinda come to the other end of this Y here. Frank. <laughs> Good for there, buddy. Two dogs are having a standoff with each other. Uh -huh.
Uh, unfortunately, I think they're kind of uh, asking me to. Oh yeah, no worries. If you gotta take care of take care of them poppers. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll, I'll see you in a bit though. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. For Thank sure. So what uh what do you think of the uh the steam engine, Henry? I mean it's like it's low to its oodles of fun. Yeah. It's a lot more in depth than the uh diesel, that's for sure. I was getting pretty bored of just the diesel shunter, to be honest. Like this is really where it's at. Friendship ended with Diesel. Steam Engine is my new best friend. Yeah. Alright, we're coming down on this guy at almost 40 miles an hour, so we're gonna have to regulate our speed eventually. How about right now? I just love all the sounds. Oh, did I do it? Are we gonna like, come to a standstill right? So we approach the cars, not quite. Oh, so close. Nice and gentle. I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought that there was a chance that that was not gonna work. Oh, wow, we are completely out of coal. Fill her up then! Beautiful sight. How do I get a screenshot? F9? No. I don't know. I don't. F it's like you're on like a PC, right? And I'm on like my Macintosh. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. Maybe it's an F11. No, I don't want to press buttons. No, it is. Hey, look, it's the thumbnail for the video of huh. the stream. That will go up on your YouTube channel. Well, we definitely didn't make the time limit.
slowed down. Wow, we just used all the coal getting started there. <laughs> thing is, I know for a fact where, whoa, where are we? I know for a fact, actually, let's, this is going to take a minute, so we're actually going to, there. Wait a second. Oh, hey, it's number... Number, number 15. Burger oh, King foot shit. lettuce. Look at who it is. It's number 60. <laughs> Turn on, please. What? Oh, there we go. I was turning it the wrong way. This turned into far more complicated an operation than I wanted it to be, but... What you gonna do? What I'm gonna do? It, it, gonna it, would, it wouldn't be Train Tuesday without some bungling. Oh yeah. And dingus maneuvers. <laughs> Got him. Oh hey, welcome to the stream, Grey Pond 096. Yes. Welcome to the stream where you watch me drive trains badly uh, and attempt to get the jobs where they're supposed to go. Currently we stalled the steam engine, uh, so we're getting some help. Holy fuck. Did you hear that? I think so. That was giant... that like on your end? Yeah, that was thunder. Oh right, it's gonna be like, I think it was like thunderstorms. It's like either like today or tomorrow. I saw a flash. Like I thought me. someone was like taking a picture of me through my window. Now, now, now we don't need to get into that much paranoia now, Dorsey. No, I know. But... You, you, you need to be like talking about some like stuff that gets you on like the FBI watch list. Before you're worried about like people taking pictures of ya in your house, but like, but that being said, that's why I always have like my blinds up in my apartment. Oh yeah, I mean I'm Got like him. I'm like slightly underground too, so it's like. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like thun there's gonna be thunderstorms here in Boston at like around like 5 p.m. Oh yeah. What's the problem? Oh, the locomotive brake is on, probably. Everything's the problem. And what you heard? Yeah, I'm on a two hour t That's not the accelerator. Push forward, please. I need to be over the turntable.
God, I hate this thing. Go. Hey. Alright, we might get this thing as far as Forest South before we, uh, we end the stream today. Oh no, I screwed up. We did want them to be facing the other way. Right? Oh, stinky. Yeah, God, I'm so bad at this. Back them up. Grey Pond, if you like what you see, please leave a, 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 a follow. And if you don't like what you see, then, well... That's Just okay, complain too. about it on Twitter. Dorsey doesn't have an account there. Yeah. I thought number 60 would be gone by now. I didn't realize, uh... This has been our... For those who are just tuning in, the number 60 has been our mainstay engine, the Twin New Havens, since, like, episode 1. Which, if you want to see how we got here, uh, you can watch episodes, like, 1 to 4 on our U on the Blueberry Boys YouTube channel, which is linked on my profile. Also, if you like other games, I play Fallout New Vegas and Transport Fever now and again. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook these up to the front, put them in a notch three, then hop back into the steam engine and uh, give her full power. And the 800, what am I caught on? What is happening right now? Okay, that was weird. All right, throw the switch onto the main line, hop on back in. Whoop, that's not right. Uh, let's get back into here and uh, hog haul it. We make up train jargon here. Breaks her off, right? Rescue the steam locomotive. <laughs> Wait, why are we going up here? Uh, you tell me, Dorsey. Well, the switch was set that fucking goddammit. Ugh. We are so not getting the time bonus for this mission. Oh, so we can still control that engine from here, even though this engine is not on. Very interesting. Yeah, we're getting close to two... Uh, four, so I don't want to keep you longer than you signed yeah, on no for. Yeah, no worries. 
I'm going to be kind of cooped up in here because I don't want to go out in thunderstorms. So, uh... True, true. So long as we can get her to Forest South, that's all I care about. I can't believe that steam engine needs a rescue. It's like under its tonnage rate. Like, what's going on there? Oh, I, I could tell you, but then uh, you might not want me back for the next uh, train Tuesday. So, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep my f uh, foot in mouth. there, it didn't despawn or roll backwards all the way to the farm. Yeah, I thought I saw a log wagon. Yep, there it is. It's still there. Good. I'm really glad there were DE2s, and especially these DE2s situated at the steel mill. this mission is going to be out of this world. We're probably going to lose money on it, but it'll be worth it if this happens well. Oh, for the love of God. Fuck my life. Well, we just killed one of them. Still working? Okay. This is so incredibly sad, Alexo. Well, we didn't smash the steam engine window, so that's good. Steam being helped by diesels, what a horrible, horrible time. Okay, let's get our shovel. Now we wait, pretty much, until that's at a reasonable level. This is a sight you'd never see, B&O and New Haven engines together. Well, stranger things have happened in real lives. Yeah, 
There was one instance of um, a Union Pacific de uh, freight train with like, you know, six diesel engines on the front stalled on a hill and the, the Union Pacific 844, which is a 484 type steam engine, came up behind it with its passenger train and pushed the train up the hill. Give me coal or give me death. <clears throat> All these are closed, correct? Well, what the hell was that? The blower was on. That might have been part of our problem. When we hit 12 atmospheres... Nope, we're rolling backwards. Telling me these three engines can't do this. I know where this is going to be going. <laughs> Bridge looks flat. I think we can. Oh, it's a 3.3% grade. No wonder. was right the first time. This is how you do it. Roll it back down. Actually, fuck it. Just use all the steam pressure we have cooked up in here. No, it still wants to roll backwards, but not as aggressively as it did before. Oh, 
Yes. Not a problem. I just want to watch this monstrosity roll by. Look at that. <laughs> Forget that. Forget the previous screenshot. This is going to be the thumbnail. I just have to feed this thing coal, huh? Ah, that's how you do it. Ah. Thank you, engine. I didn't even pull the whistle there.
All right, we'll get her to Forest South, and then we'll be then we'll be done for the day. Sounds good. Wow, we're actually getting to the end of our coal supply. Is that how the kids do it these days? I don't, I don't, I'm not on TikTok. I refuse to get a TikTok account. I don't know, I'm, I am essentially the out of touch Gen Xer in a millennial body. Oh, now I know why we're not getting steam. We are completely out of water. She thorsty. Yeah, we are using whatever is left in the engine. And both engines, both hey. diesels just overheated at once, so. <laughs> We're essentially running on vapors and fumes at this point. It's just it's gonna. Well, yeah, it's like this steam engine is pulling all of these cars and pushing these two dead engines ahead of us. I mean, this pressure is slowly going to go down until we don't have any left, and then that's going to be it. But I think we'll make it to Forest South before that happens. But Only then, time will tell. But then we're going to have to make a run to City Southwest with the diesels towing the steam engine. And, uh... I don't think we'll be able to finish this job, actually. Oof. This is so incredibly sad. Alexo, play Hear My Train Coming. Not enough water in the boiler? Let's make the fire burn hotter. That'll <laughs> make it better. That'll solve all our problems. Let's give her some help. This is probably cooled off by now. I mean, if the steamer dies, we're like kind of screwed. Ah, what? far away are we? Where's the map? Okay, we should be almost there. It may be that we can hook up a few more diesels if they have them here. Or even another steam engine and replace Big Blue with another. Okay, yes, there is a diesel here that we can use to help. Cosmo184 says, hello, what are you doing? I am driving a train, managing three engines at once and not very well. That's all she wrote for Big Blue. I don't know which one is on, which one is off. Is, is it buy more water? Well, uh, we're not at the station quite yet, so, uh... In the meantime, we're just running on fumes. Unfortunately, yeah, the, uh... 
the station we're at doesn't have a service station. And, uh... I kind of didn't plan that very well. This is my first time ever driving the steam engine. Well, so uh, Big Blue is dead in the water. We got to get to the sawmill somehow. Um, I mean, let's check. Maybe we can buy stuff here. No. Well, we almost own all the licenses somehow, even though we're horrible at this game. Um, okay, so well, you know what they say, if, if at first you don't succeed, keep sucking until you do succeed. Yeah. All right, so, as, uh, as Big Blue's fire dies out, um, this is, uh, you can in the feeds by water. Cosmo says. Are you playing multiplayer? No, this, this game is, uh, this game isn't a multiplayer game. I just have a guest on. Um, but, uh, I'm just actually, in a gallery. Yeah. But we are actually, uh, we're actually at the, oh wait, can we? Can we get water here? No. Yeah, well, there's uh, there's no locomotive service station here. Yeah, um, we're actually at the end of the the stream right now. Um, thank you for everyone who tuned in. This was uh, this was rather fun. Uh, it was cool to uh, try the steam engine. Uh, this was the first time we ever did that. Um, we had to rescue it because I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, you know, hey, uh, I learned a lot. Uh, we're probably going to continue with this next Tuesday with this exact train and figure out what we're doing uh, with this. we got to deliver these logs. We are definitely way over um, <laughs> over the time limit for, for the job. But, uh, you know, we'll make some dough. We'll pay off our debts. We'll... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure that part out um, probably uh, next Tuesday. But yes, this has been CD Trumpet 5's Train Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing anything later, but, um, you know, if uh, me and Delris come up with something, you'll, you'll probably find out because one of us will be streaming. If you like what you see, uh, please follow and please subscribe to the Blueberry Boys YouTube channel, um, which uh, where we post all of these videos. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. That is all for today. Oh, and also thank you to my uh, my guest, uh, Micah, for- Glad uh, to like for... be on, as per usual. Yeah, yeah, and you added a lot to the session. It's always a, always a fun time. All right, see you everybody. Bye!